So Neuroscientific is a relatively new company. It's only been on the stock exchange for about uh, 10 months. And this is really the, the precursor for why this is an interesting investment. So people would be familiar with neurological diseases, in particular Alzheimer's disease. There is presently no treatment that's effective. Uh, they've been working on this particular problem for the best part of 15 years. Many, many billions of dollars have been spent to absolutely no avail. Um, the reason is, obviously, it's a very complicated problem. But what we've seen is, um, I, th I guess, 15 odd years ago, they looked at patients with Alzheimer's or dementia in general. After they died, they dissected the brain. You could see that there was this plaque all over the, over the brain, beta amyloid plaque. And so that thesis became that how do we get rid of this plaque so we could safely cure or treat Alzheimer's disease. And that's been what all the big pharmaceutical companies and many biotech companies have been doing for a long time. It's all resulted in naught, and we've had incredible failures in this space, and the big farmers have been pulling their trials. Uh, nobody's particularly interested in beta amyloid plaque reduction in the brain anymore. And what we have seen is some recent articles that have appeared in Time magazine and Fortune and also Nature. That uh, Fortune article only came out in January of this year. And I like the headline, that's why I put it there, Big Farmers Struck Out. Could this be the radical new approach? And the approach that new, um, neuroscientific is taking is the exact approach that's being now put forward by the global investment community. Now, I would say that they're not even aware that neuroscientific is doing exactly this approach. But that's our job to go out there and focus on our clinical trials and, and make a noise in this big space. So we have a, this lead candidate, we call it Mton B, and it was actually licensed from the University of Copenhagen. I'll show you a chart later on which made this particular drug very exciting, but we think this has great potential and it's got nothing to do with beta amyloid plaque removal. And the company is a, is a good team it's, uh, and uh, chaired by myself. So you can see that I've had uh, some focus in the biotechnology space, having founded or co-founded a number of companies. Matt Lidlow, who was going to present today, he comes from AstraZeneca background, and he's very skilled in what he does. Uh, Anton's PhD is the science brains behind the company. And Stephen represents the largest shareholder in the company, um, uh, basically the Clough family in Perth. If you've ever heard of a company called Clough Engineering, Harold Clough is the patriarch of that family, and uh, Stephen runs his family money. So he's effectively, the, they own about 35% of the company, so a big family backer. So Alzheimer's disease is obviously a global problem and it's a huge economic burden on society. And, and in terms of the way we treat this disease, there's also potential for back of the eye diseases as well. So we'll be starting clinical trials in both of these areas in the coming months. There's obviously a need for novel therapeutics, as I've already explained. Clearly, beta amyloid plaque removal doesn't have any benefit, so there needs to be another way. Um, I wouldn't be standing here talking about neuroscientific if I was telling you about another way that we think we can clear beta amyloid plaque. I think if you're going to focus on this huge potential market, you need to be novel and new. So this is a given idea in terms of what's been spent in the space, many billions of dollars, many big names in the pharmaceutical world. Um, but as you'll get, see as I move forward, that the way we're approaching it, binding to the LRP1 receptor in, in the brain, is our approach in terms of how we can effectively treat it. And I've got a very fancy animation to show you about that. Um, firstly, how novel it is. It's been validated in preclinical trials, and it's also in multiple indications. Um, this is the structure of the protein. For those scientists in the room, you can see basically how that works. Um, I can't claim to be a scientist myself, but um, I know that in this animation, hopefully it'll work, here we go. So this is how a healthy neuron works in the brain. You can see there's sparking actually going on. Um, this is how it should be. Unfortunately, when you have onset of Alzheimer's disease, you get the dieback um, occurring through the damaged neurons. And this is the onset of dementia and it's a slippery slope because it's happening throughout the brain. We introduce our M10B peptide, which is actually binding to the LRP1 receptors, and it's actually repairing the damaged neurons. So our focus is essentially prevention of cell death, and you can see through the, invention or the intervention of our drug, then the neurons start firing again. This is what we've demonstrated in our animal models. 
This is the result of those preclinical trials. You can see the cell survival has increased dramatically through the introduction of this drug, and it's also stimulating neuron growth. And we've prevented cell death in Alzheimer's models um, significantly and also slowed the progression of the disease. The next slide is my favourite slide. And you can see here that this was the result of a study that was done at the University of Copenhagen. And in this study, you can see that the top picture is a rat. There were actually eight rats in this study, and they severed an optic nerve in each of the rats, did an MRI scan, and you can see that there's the dieback that occurs um, as a result of cutting that nerve. Um, after the introduction of Empton B, you can see that there was complete 100% regeneration of that nerve. Now that is absolutely remarkable and never before have been achieved in science in a mammal. Now the question of course is just because it works in a rat doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work in a human. But I feel like that is our role. Our role is to take this drug from the university, fund human trials to actually prove that point, that we can actually regenerate neurons in the brain and prevent neuron cell death. And that could be the big new approach in how we treat Alzheimer's disease. That's effectively the premise of this company. So in terms of our clinical trials, you can see that we are doing additional preclinical safety and toxicology studies in rats in terms of Alzheimer's. Those results are going to read out in the next month, I expect. So that will definitely be in the near term in the next quarter, so I'd expect in July. And then we'll be commencing the human trials. So this will be the first in mount trials with this drug. And if it is successful, it will be a blockbuster. There's no doubt that this could be um, one of the greatest drugs in the history of science if we're successful in treating Alzheimer's disease. And that is our approach. In ophthalmology, clearly it makes sense to go after back of the eye diseases, considering what happened in the mammals. And we are doing further preclinical uh, studies in rabbits and pigs. And those results will also read out early in the next quarter, and then we'll be commencing human trials there. Both those hospitals will be done in Perth, in Australia, where, where I'm from. We're also partnering with some very big companies. Covance is uh, very, um, very large and, and reputed, as is the Lions Eye Institute for the ophthalmology study. So we've got great partners. And our business model is to, is to effectively develop these drugs through phase one and then look for an early licensing deal. Why do I expect that we could get a licensing deal? Because big pharma has struck out in this space. They need something novel and new, and this is absolutely novel in the way that we're approaching it. So because we're different, I would rather see us look to do a licensing deal or a trade sale to a big pharma at an earlier stage so that we don't have to raise the tens or perhaps a hundred million dollars to take us through the later stages of clinical trials. So what the big pharma wants to see is this drug is safe. And that's what we can establish when we commence those human trials, which will take, let's start about the middle of this year and they'll probably take about six months. So it's not a long time to wait for those results. So these are the milestones you can expect us to see. So as I said before, in June, July, we can expect to see some of these, um, these further animal trials, and that is good news flow for the company. I don't know the outcome of these trials, but this is important news for us as we progress to human trials. And then finally, in terms of a corporate overview, we're not a particularly large company. We've currently got a market cap of $10 million. We haven't done a great deal of, in terms of significant news flow since we listed in July of last year. It's really been about getting ready to commence those human trials. So now, making this presentation to you today is a very good time to have a look at Neuroscientific because the news flow for this company is about to commence. And it's news flow that really drives a company's share price. So, um, this is a good time to, uh, to have a listen to what we're doing and with that I thank you very much for listening and uh, I'll be over in uh, the conference for the rest of this morning and happy to take any questions at that time, so thank you.